Deadly Premonition is considered to be the most polarizing survival horror game out there, with scores ranging from 10s to not 10s, and I get why some people don't like it. The controls are clunky and awkward, the enemies are hilarious, I mean, look at this guy. He's walking at me backwards, how am I supposed to be afraid of this? It's funny. And by today's standards, back in 2010, it certainly wasn't the best looking game out there, but Fuck all those criticisms, because I fucking love Deadly Premonition, and I want the world to know. The game has a charm that few games carry. The main character talks to himself, which is just awesome. The entire cast of characters seem to be insane, and it has that it's so bad, it's good vibe, combined with a holy shit, imagine if they had a shit ton of money. This would be the besterest survival horrorist game thing ever. But yeah, I really like it. Kinda went on a stupid tangent there. But hey, before Deadly Premonition was finally released, it went through various changes. And I'm gonna talk about some of those. Cause I do that. So today on Gaming Mysteries, as I try to fish this FK out of my coffee, I'll be talking about the beta of Deadly Premonition. Now, Deadly Premonition was originally named Rainy Woods and was initially going to be a PSP adventure game, though in 2005 it was announced that the game would be a next-gen only title. After its PSP stage, and early in its next-gen stage, in 2007 at Tokyo Game Show, Rainy Woods was announced as a multi-platform game, and in a trailer released at TGS 2007, at the end it says, Coming 2008. But things didn't work out that way. A number of websites noted that Rainy Wood shared strong similarities with Twin Peaks, and I should say right here that I've never watched Twin Peaks, so whatever similarities there are, I won't be able to pick them out. Just a heads up. But anyways, all the comparisons people made about the game sharing traits with Twin Peaks made the developers change the artistic direction of the game so it would have less similarities to Twin Peaks. They also redid all of the voice work, quote unquote, to accommodate the new elements, and the revised protagonist, which we'll talk about shortly. But because of them having to make these changes, it would end up pushing back the game's release date a good two years or so. But with the quote-unquote changes to the game made to differentiate it from Twin Peaks made, and with a new name, Deadly Premonition, or Red Seed's profile in Japan, the title was finally released in 2010. And now that we have the backstory out of the way, we can hop into some key differences between the beta and the final version of the game. Upon watching the TGS trailer, the first thing that struck me was the main character. During its Rainy Woods stage, the main character was named David Young Henning, as opposed to Francis York Morgan in the final version. He also looks drastically different from the final version of York, and in my opinion, Beta York kinda looks like crap. He also sounds slightly different. I'm not sure if he has a different voice actor here, or if it's just because they redid his particular voice work. Don't really know, but from what I read, it is the same voice actor, but that's just a rumor. I don't fucking know. Continuing with the main character though, during the TGS trailer there's no mention of Zack and for those of you who haven't played Deadly Premonition, Zack is kind of like York's imaginary friend. Kinda. But anyways, there's no mention of him, or a Zack equivalent, which makes me wonder if that was in Rainy Woods or not. But anywho, York wasn't the only character to see some aesthetic changes though, as George Woodman also looked drastically different and like crap. Coincidence? I think not. Though his voice sounds exactly the same. Hell, his dialogue is even the same. I'm thinking they didn't actually redo all of the voice acting like they said. As for the other characters, they don't appear to look different at all. Well, except for a certain two, who look really different. Now if you play Deadly Premonition, you should be familiar with the twin boys Isaac and Isaiah. Well, during the Rainy Woods period, they weren't in the game and instead were replaced with- HOLY FUCK! Two tiny old people, men, man, people, guys. I mean, I thought the kids were creepy, but this shit takes the cake. It's hard to say what role these old fellows would have played in the game, at least during the real world portions, as in the TGS trailer, they have a scene that was in Deadly Premonition, word for word, with bouncing. Just, no old people. This was a good change, though. Tiny old people <laughs> scare the fuck out of them. No. Something I found very interesting is that according to the game's designer, Swery, 
Deadly Premonition and Rainy Woods were two completely different projects, which, when looking at the TGS trailer, and having played through Deadly Premonition, I have a hard time believing that. Granted, there may be some merit to his statement. Someone who had the chance to talk to Swery found out that Rainy Woods was a different game in terms of mechanics, but not in story or setting. This gives the impression that the game wasn't really focused on any fighting at all, and was more about hiding. Evidence to this comes from the random dumpsters lying around the game and the ability to hold your breath so enemies can't detect you. It's believed that these were leftover elements from the old design of the game. Now going under the assumption that the game was originally going to be focused less around combat, certain gameplay elements in the final version make a lot more sense. The leftover ones, I mean. Now the barrels, well they're not really important, but if they were intended for you to hide in, then that gameplay element could have turned into one of those sections of the game where you would have to hide from the raincoat killer in a room, like in a closet or something, and also hold your breath. Going further, since holding your breath makes it so enemies can't detect you, this could have been Rainy Wood's method of dealing with enemies. You being unable to fight them, with your goal being able to get past them to find your clues and get out of whatever area you're in. Mind you, this is just speculation on my part. Even so, it's an interesting concept, though not one I think I'd enjoy very much. Because I like to shoot stuff. Because I'm an American, and that's what we do. Guns. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say about the beta of Deadly Premonition. Not a ton of info on this one, but... Eh, who cares. I can't say whether or not the changes made to Deadly Premonition during its rainy wood stage would have made the game better or worse, as there's not a ton of detail and... Rainy Woods certainly looks similar to the final product, but even if there were drastic changes, I really enjoyed Deadly Premonition as it was. Yeah, it'd be cool to play a possibly different version of the game, but we're more than satisfied with its final version. Isn't that right, Zack? This has been Gaming Mysteries. Thanks for watching. Me and Zack are gonna go get some coffee. There better not be any fucking FK in it.